Yeah, of course. My name is Pras, and I am a general certificate PHP engineer. I am also a Malang PHP organizer. Malang is a small city in East Java, Indonesia, and I'm also open source evangelist. And you can, if you have any question about this topic or any else, you can shout me at Twitter at Pras Wicaksono. Yeah. Okay. Before before we start, uh, let let's do some preparation. Uh, I will ask some question for you for that for judging uh, your knowledge first. Uh, is there uh, do you know s some basic knowledge about PHP? Uh, you you can raise your hand if you, if you already know some basic about PHP. Yeah, I think yeah, it's fine. So the other is okay. Programming, maybe other uh, other language, have have experienced. <laughs> so it's completely new, I think. Yeah. Okay. Did you? By the way, did you read my requirement on Slack yeah. channel? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's start. Who is Windows user here? Uh, half half. Oh half yeah half. yeah. <laughs> it's better to use uh, Unix, I think. But if you use Windows, you might. Uh, follow the step to make sure PHP executable are can be executed in terminal. What about the PMPP? SMPP? Yeah, uh, you, you have to set the path of the PHP executable <coughs> to Windows path. Just like a Java once. If you have installed Java before, you have to uh, put the java.exe in uh, Windows path. To make sure Java are executable from terminal, from command line. Okay, let me show you. Let's open this first. Then find. Uh, if you use Unix, you don't need to follow this step. This for Windows only. If I use Linux, huh? Linux. Linux. Yeah, yeah, no need, no need. Just Windows only. And yeah, this for Windows Win Windows 8, and this is for Windows 7. Windows 8 and Windows 10 is same, I think. Let me show one of this. Did you use Windows? Oh, you still have a version. Yeah, it's very. I think it's very. Uh, compl complicated one for for the Windows because I need to yeah to executable or executable in terminal. If you use Unix, Linux, or uh, Mac, it shouldn't a problem. or
to common land. Please, 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 Thank you. 
that you have PSP installed you have to this following step open up the terminal or command line in your uh, OS and type PSP min v this this is for determine the PSP version if you have PSP uh, version under 5.4 you should upgrade it at least 5.5 or seven. It should be like this. If this works, then you will you'll, you'll be fine. Very complicated step. The requirement is very hard, I think, for Windows user. <laughs> okay, who is uh, still not complete this step can raise your hand. No. Uh, which which version? No, speak a bit louder. Oh. Okay. 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 Uh, is anyone completed this step? Uh, okay, it's fine. So we can go on then. Five point five. Five point five. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, it's run by the script and to verify. Yeah, if you are on Windows, it will be some strange. Yeah, uh, PSP also can run in terminal in command line. So. You have to test by creating simple hello world script, uh, then execute it in command line. Yeah. We, we will be playing at command line. We don't need exam or have servers. That is simple, simple things. Hello world to check. PSP really works for you. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't know how to make, just open uh, your editor and create new file, and yeah, and type this and save as uh, like this test.php. Then save it at your directory. Let me show you an example. Uh, it's actually is up to you. Example. I'm on Mac and I change directory to projects and I will create nice.php here. works you should uh, execute uh, the file in same directory as mine Mister. the test PSP in is in projects folder so you have to change directory to project folder if I change to another folder and execute it it will be not found you have to change directory to 
uh, project to test PSP folder. <coughs> okay. If you can do this, we can go on on the next set, the next session. I think we can talk about more basic PSP and MVC. Okay. Anybody have a question so far? No, we can go on. Okay. Okay. Let's start about explaining what is MVC. Uh, there are plenty. Uh, there are plenty explanation about MVC on the web on the stack overflow or something and i think they are are different they have uh, their they have their own concept and they have their own version about what is mvc and in this in this topic i want to explain about uh, my own version of mvc so uh, i hope uh, you can understand it well and you can accept or you can challenge me i think because my version of mvc is might be different from the others okay mvc is an application pattern yeah. as we as you know in object oriented programming we have to find the pattern to solve a problem so uh, mvc mostly used for uh, separating for separating uh, concern, uh, I think uh, you have a f UI, uh, a view UI, and you have a business logic. This must be separated. Then uh, MVC is a solution for you. Now let's talk about controller. Is a controller is a very, fa I think, a very simple file that bridge between. Uh, model and view see it 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 should be simple simple file also model model is in in my version model is not related with storage is is not store is not related to uh, database is pure business process i i will show you later uh, how to uh, persist the model into storage but yeah, this is my version. The, the, some some people said uh, model is related to database, and it should be contains the query language uh, for MySQL, I think, for Postgre. But in my version, business model, the model is a pure business process. I will show you later uh, how 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 I mo how I model the the case, and the view is a UI. Yeah, uh, you 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 design the web. You uh, you make the 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 UI animation and so on. It it will represent the data from models that you show in the website. Okay, the last one is I think is very common in back in twenty twelve, the 20, 20, 20, 29 I think. Uh, the the router it's I, I I know this technique is from the code Ignator framework the first one framework that use uh, this uh, kind of technique it's called it, it's called front controller like this this is new so every user request are handled by one file router uh, then the router will spread up the controller and controller sit between model and view and you know the controller will go back and router and send the response to user so every request will handle it by one file uh, like i said before mvc is not a silver belt uh, you can use another uh, pattern to solve your problem but in this topic i will show you 
uh, how MVC works actually. Now let's get ready to code. Okay, first one is create simple router. I have some. This is very simple router. You just create like you uh, create the test PSP before. Just open up the file and type this. This is a mapping root. You know when when I type this to the browser, it should return the hello world on the screen. This is called router. And we check we check this if the requests are uh, are in the map. We will. Uh, return the hello world if not it will just simply return not found page okay this 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 is require some basic pa about programming language if you don't know PSP just write it I think it's it I think it will be fine if you already know some basic programming so anyone know this Anyone know know this? Oh yeah, it's pretty pretty easy. It's a closure, anonymous function. I will show you later about how to convert this to class. This is, uh, we are first step for creating Hello World MVC version. <coughs> if you don't know, uh, um, if you have any question about this code, just shout me. Just raise your hand and ask me. This is very basic actually. If you if you if you know some basic PHP, it's pretty common function. The logic is pretty simple. It consists only 17 lines of code. Okay, if you have done, open up your terminal or command line and change directory to uh, to file that you have just created. Uh, for example, I'm in workshop and you, I have this file router.php. Let me save first and by PSP min s localhost port 1000 <coughs> min t uh, dot min dot min this this folder and the router file and the router router PSP is file that you just have created and enter it will start the development server for PSP for speed up your development you don't need to uh, you don't need the web servers to run it 
I will try it on my browser. Yeah, it's just say hello world. MVC version. Yeah, it actually read the this slash hello world. I think it's not. explain this yeah when you type this on your browser it will read this part slash hello world and it will search in array is that any key slash hello world in array if yes then return it the the, the value the value in this case are closer anonymous function and we should call it and echo it to browser if we change this hello world one it will say at person as hello world one yeah i think yeah just it just bit over engineered for hello world <laughs> so so far is there any question you you can run it on your just type this Let me help you if you have any question.
Okay. For example, if you have uh, at another page, you have to copy this and place this. Hello. Hello. You should save, open, and you have hello here. It's pretty simple to add page. Yeah. So, for any question about this process, it's quite simple, right? Okay. Now let's move this. Move this. It's, uh, it's, it's still a closer format to class. Uh, you have to create that I have shown. Hello, but controller here. Yeah. The. I Sorry, take one, one, one more. Oh, yeah. Model. Okay, okay. <coughs> now, yeah, create a controller class. For example, I ha okay. I use hello what controller class and have a function info. Did you know what is uh, underscore underscore info? Is anybody know? No. Info is uh, one of magic function at PHP. Uh, it behaves uh, like uh, you, you you can call this object actually. I will show you later. Just uh, type it for now. I will show you later how info works. It's uh, one of magic methods in PHP. Done. It's pretty easy, right? Now we have back to we have to back to router.php, and we will require this. Because my controllers file are in controllers folder so I have to require the folder and the file let's change this to It should be work. Yeah, I'm missing here. The one is use using anonymous function, and the one is are using the class, the the object. It will looks like well organized when you use uh, class each roots it it, it call roots by the way so you if 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 you have uh, 10 roots here you have to create a uh, 10 controllers class it will help you to separate the business process i think it's more cleaner cleaner way than you than you use function but if you 
if you like simplicity, you have just use function here because it's very easy. You don't have to switch file to edit your page. Okay, let me run. Hopefully, there's no errors. Yeah, it works. We just need class here. Okay, in folk make object that you have created are callable. Callable means you can call here using here. Is 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 this if if this is an, an object you can call uh, directly by putting uh, yeah by by putting the sign or the on the object. Uh, if you have if you use a method like for example yeah oops you have to call this way if yeah it's what i think my objective is are for uh, uh, easier swapping between anonymous function and class and class you have to implement info each controller so your object uh, can be callable everywhere so you have to use one single form like here that's it, invoke function. Okay, so far, any any question about invoke and basic hello world MVC? No? I think it's pretty clear, right? It's very simple, I think. Okay, then let's move to uh, more challenging one. Yeah. Now we have we try to uh, implement some real business case to our workshop here. Let's say we have an article that we have title and body property. So. Uh, in my approach, article is a model. So we have to model it to our class. Let's see article. Yeah. Oh no no no. Ah this is this is a property. Like that like we have requirement. It's it has title and the body. Yeah, it has title and the body. And you might you might follow this uh, this step or you just simple you just use simple setter and getter this this is my preference of code uh, i like to construct the object with uh, static function instead of constructor so i can have multiple constructor at one object it's common in um, c sharp or some Java and some advanced object-oriented programming. So it can it in, in actually in PHP there are no uh, multiple constructor at one time at one class. So I have to uh, create some experiment that uh, how, how 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 to match PHP class can constructed by multiple constructor. Yeah, I use this technique. It called name name constructor. So if you don't have, if, if you don't like, if you don't like follow this uh, step, you have to simple, uh, you put your uh, constructor here, just title and body and 
you just set together and so on is pretty easy it's, it's I think it's my preference style of code let's start the requirement first yeah we have, we have an article body and title and user can give a rating this is the requirement scale must be between five to uh, one to five this is a business process and some I think some programmer that I have met you uh, place this business process at controller yeah, it's pretty pretty common in 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 in, in my country so I have to change uh, place this at the model because this is a business process so controller is controller don't don't know about about this so it it, it will be handled in model so uh, when I give a rating here I will check the scale uh, 0 uh, up between 1 and 5 if not it will throw an exception if there is fine they will place it in array ratings is, is, is in array yeah for the rating is a um, uh, average function for the ratings let's say uh, is looping all the arrays and sum it and we divide by uh, how <coughs> count of the rating yeah just simple rating I think now this is the model simple one all business process must must be placed on here not in controller this is my preference of MVC I think this is not uh, but the model is uh, don't don't have any database uh, persistence. It's just model. It's just yeah. Uh, it's just business process. The pure business process. And later I will show you how to uh, save this model to a database to a persistent storage. But now let's start about the pure business model first. Pretty simple. If you know basic PHP. Yeah, let's start modeling one. Okay, modeling the article. It has body, it has title and body, and it uh, the rate the 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 rate must be uh, between one and five. That's a, that's the rule, business rule. Yeah, I decide to private the constructor so we can create a keyword new on this object so if you want to create article you have to call the static function create i will show you later at the controller part but now is the modeling part of the article system here Okay, if you don't know something about this, just shout, raise, raise your hand and ask me. Okay, it's still long. We have still long to go. Yeah. If no break is It's pretty simple setter and getter. It's pretty common in Java.
This is the important part of red wings. I place it on. Yeah, yeah. Is it possible if you get the copy? Oh yeah, yeah. One by one. Okay, okay, okay. Is it the, the, the <laughs> uh, anyone on Slack? Or I, I will show you at my. Because we have Yeah, yeah, yeah. Special yeah. typing. Yeah, you can, you can, uh, download this. I will show you. Okay, let me know if you have a code. Do you know how to use GitHub, right? Is the, the code the code is hosted at GitHub? I think you are just downloaded and let's look at article controller here. We have article controller here that uh, our in this controller I create article object by calling static method by placing the uh, design and create and in a title and body and I the controller give rating 5, 5, 3 and put it on data and extract it extract it, it, it means uh, if I have A here after I extract I can access A here uh, it, A it's content article objects article objects same if I use B here A is not accessible but we can use B here so this below this code below is usually uh, actually at, at this yeah it's a few part so we have to buffering the output first we are buffering uh, the HTML at view and we get it as a string in here so the SML will be uh, stored at rendered HTML variable as a string then we return it so we at, at, at the router we can echo it yeah it's very simple we use obey start to buffering the output and OB get clean to get a uh, HTML string. It's pretty simple. But you, the, the first step is modeling first. Then you design the controller and the view. The first step is modeling. You just create some plain object of PHP. And after you done modeling, you can create the controller for this and for the last step you have to create the view
Okay. I think you just downloaded the code of my code in my GitHub. So let's start move to view. Let me know if you, you if you have any any question for me about this code and my approach. View is in view folder and it's in article view. It's pretty simple I think. This HTML one and just echoing article get 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 the title, article, get get the body, article, get get the rating. This is a simple because I'm an expert in HTML and CSS, it will plan the view is plain white, I think. <laughs> so let's start to modify this route and require controls uh, article controls PHP. me uh, some article contents that from model that we just created and the, ra the, the rating is a uh, average rating like this yeah it we I give rating 5 5 and 3 and it, it should be shown 5.3 at, at the average yeah it's very simple basic so MMVC yeah, controller is clearly separate things between business process and the view. The view is only uh, echoing thing, not 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 uh, doing a heavy task. The controller also is just calling the model and uh, send data to the view, and the model is doing the heavy things like uh, calculating. Uh, ratings and set up uh, don't set, set up uh, business rules and so on so there is business there is no business rules in controller which we we set it at the models so you better to try this uh, because it's pretty uh, important for next step about persisting the article the article object to the storage the next thing will be is fun. Let's give a break now. Yeah, you can come in. Oh, I think she did. Yeah, at the 11 hour. Okay. And minutes break? Yeah. Okay. Any questions so far about the how 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 the MVC works so far? It's pretty simple. Uh, I will show you uh, basic of dependency injection later when we when 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 we work on a persisting storage per persisting model on the storage. Yeah. How do I set it up with the index PHP file? Index PHP, yeah. oh, there is no index PHP here because uh, actually you, you 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 can use this uh, router PHP. Just rename it to index PHP. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. 
dan usut dan no as this is is oh you oh your virtual machine so you have to uh, you use apache or yeah you have to set in uh hd access uh, so you must uh, direct the request to one file yeah Re request handling i think i think i can i can some google this uh might be my favorite frameworks it's also has the same approach with this let me see Chef upon regulation. Nah, this part is same. All this it mean all of the requests will be directed to index to PHP. Yeah. If if you use router the PHP, just change it to router the dot dot PHP. It's yeah. It should work. It's pretty common in modern frameworks. Every every framework use use this act. Honestly. I like say HDR. Yeah. It's about the same. If you use real web servers, you have to uh, write this configuration at your web servers. If you use Engine X, and you could use this too. It's more complicated than Apache, but it works. <laughs> yeah. That's why I, I, I use I use the put in observer one because it's more simple than you use Apache. Yeah. No configuration. <laughs> yeah. No configuration at the web server side. Okay, any question again? If not, I think we will going to break at. at I take a break. Yeah, I will. Ten yeah, for ten minutes, take take a break for ten minutes <coughs> for cooling down our mind <laughs> and go to the toilet. Or yeah, there's still food. I think yeah. so. You, you can may drink coffee some first or uh, some juice. And there. make friends. Yeah. Yeah. That's part of what we are here for. And if you have any questions, maybe you can just come yeah. forward and ask. Let me go to toilet first. I will do, I will do move a little bit faster from here because uh, I still have some topics that I have to cover. Okay, let me see the slides. Okay, after this, uh, there is no uh no no uh, no no code in my github you have to get it by yourself this is the some some task uh, that i give to you to to measure your understanding about the topic that i have uh, that, that, that that i have to show you earlier so you create a router file that match uri and http method so I, if I have, this is a URI hello world, and I have a get method here, for, for example. This is just just example. Oops. For example, uh, if the HTTP method is a get and the URI uh, match the slash hello world, it should be uh, return the hello world controller. It's just just it's a, just just the uh, examples. So I, I might have like this hello world, same URI but different method. We have the post method here. 
and we should return another control yeah there is no there is no logic in my current uh, github code you have to create it by yourself it's pretty simple i think you just uh, you can access this by accessing servers request method you will get either get post head or whatever by the way did you know http method is someone don't know here about http method method no okay i think it's very clear let me show you how it works then Nah, this is the SDT method. You can choose get, post, put, patch, delete, and all available here. For example, I make a get request to localhost uh, 8000 slash hello world. And let's just, nah, it will return hello world here. I can zoom over. Yeah. But if I do post request, it also. Uh, same the request but I, I want to make the difference between post get put and so on because it will be uh, different action for this HTTP method if I put it will just return hello world also so I want I want you to separate this uh, for example if I do get request it will return hello world and if I do post request, it should be return hello world too for for the for this example. Yeah, you could make it by modify this code and so on. It's pretty simple, I think. Let me code also. We have a map scene and we have pause. We have hello.
gut. Ich denke, es wird gut. Ich habe mit drei Fors. could see this is best speed documentation here about containing the request super global let me see in postman Hopefully there is no error. <coughs> Oops. Let me step again. If I use get method to access this URL, it will show hello world from get method. And if I change to post, it will uh, show another output hello world from post method. If I go post method, it will show not from page. This is a correct setup for routing. So you can set different method for each URI so if you have uh, play with if you have play with uh, micro frameworks like Silex or Lumen uh, you can set this uh, per root and per method yeah, it's pretty common common practice in framework today so it's pretty uh, important things to note well, actually, it behave like like this. Uh, they uh, <coughs> st start to build some map, uh, like if a uh, get uh, and the list of routes, if a uh, post and here is the list of routes. So, firstly, we uh, filter by method first. If method post, it will return the array of uh, list of. Uh, URI here, the, the roots, and we check it here if the roots is available from this, and we will echo it and done. So, if there is no method, there is no the method is not match or the root is not match, it will simply return uh, not found page. It's pretty simple routing, I think. The more advanced one is you can search at Composer, 
at the packages this is for package like uh, flash root uh, this is my favorite library for routing <coughs> actually you can set the variable here inside the root for example user id and it should be decimal so you every time you use user slash one or user slash two it will get handled by handler at this current root uh, we 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 don't have kind of such we, we don't have this feature you have to get it by yourself if you want or use uh, another component to complete your root this is pretty uh, pretty good routing li library it's very uh, i think it's very uh, easy to use it's pretty same concept is pretty same you just register it, the register the method the uri and the handler same with this the method the uri and the handler pretty same then you just dispatch and so on and if if not found what what will you do and if we if the method is not allowed what will you do what and what what is the found if 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 the method and the root is match what did you do it's pretty simple it's uh, the core of the web application i think the the routing okay any questions so far about the routing yes. yeah uh, how do it handle for example a thousand rows yep you have to define one by one if you use this uh, library or you should uh, you can uh, do like uh, uh, code, code agnator style you have to read the file name the, the class name here the class name here uh, the article controller yeah okay. maybe you should extract the first uh, the first sentence here then you convert it to roots it's it's a code agnator technique uh, yeah. If if not, I I I, I prefer to uh, add it one by one. I think it's my preference. Symphony also you have to create root all by one. Uh, Laravel it you in Laravel you can choose uh, a file name like this or you or you define it all one by one. It's pretty common. But in 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 Symphony you. You don't have to write the code. You have to write the YAML or X, XML to configure your roots. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. In yeah. here as well, you don't touch routes at all. Yeah. <coughs> you have to specify some URL for some yeah. custom function. Mm -hmm. like basically, no roots you have to change in certain frameworks, right? Yeah. So, how do they handle? Oh, so, okay. Interactions. For example, you have to know about the reflection. I think reflection is in is. I will show you. Or this maybe you don't need. First, we try to iterate our files in controller folder, right? To show, let me some do the banking first. Okay, well, let 
Okay, actually, we have three controller at the folders, and we start to parsing parse them. Uh, I think we just take the article and this current article controller, maybe. Googling first. Oops. Oh, 
Where's my phone? We have the first words of our file name. Now we just convert it to lowercase, I think. Let's define our maps here. Push it to
Okay, we comment this line. Going back to force. Okay, hopefully it works. This is first step is you have to uh, iterate the folder of controller and you should parse the file name if you want the file name. It, this is the common technique that used by Code Igniter framework and you extract the I think you extract the article and ignore the controller. It's a pretty common tool in Code Igniter and yeah you should and you just have to register in map. In, in in our map, this this pretty simple I think. <coughs> this, this, if you if 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 you don't have if you don't want to uh, register it one by one, you can also use this technique also. This is yeah. It's so pretty. Like, apart from number of controllers, yeah. Uh, are there any reasons to automatize the generation of routes in an application like architectural decision? Mm. What what do you mean automatic? Because uh, as I as as I know, there are no framework that do automatically uh, for especially for 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 the routes. It because it it can be more complex. I think because you you can pass this. Uh, if in in real world apps, you have to. Uh, take a parameters, yeah? yeah. You have to, yeah. You have to take parameters. It 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 it, it will be complex if you have to automate it, because it's very customable for, yeah, for for our real apps, not not, yeah, not not, yeah. That's that's it. That's, that's that is my reason for not automatic it. I have I have because I have flexibility to design my own URL. That's my reason, I think. 
Yeah, and so you see what's going on. And huh? You see what's going on in those addresses, right? Yeah, uh -uh. Uh -uh. because uh, because it's easier for debugging also. If the the roots this, you just I I just need the roots, then I I will which the file that contain the error. I just need the the roots also. It's pretty yeah, pretty good for debugging for me. Yeah. Anything else? The the security I think is is fine if 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 you use open source library. Okay. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's just 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 a routing library. Uh, it's I think it's I'll escape uh, from the the string already es escaped by the function that will that it use in this library because it is open source. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Like, uh, you use manual routing. Yeah. Is there any way to pass a variable that is not specified in a route to, for example, make an SQL injection? Oh, you 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 can actually uh, you can buy uh, utilizing this. This is called query string. This uh, it I think it's more for uh, I think yeah. it's more. Yeah, it is not. It's, it, it is not secure. It's better to use uh, URI in, uh, in 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 the rules. Like for example, I have a user with one. This is, and you could also passing as ID, ID one. Yeah, it's. I think it's not secure by. You have to escape by yourself. But if you use routes like this. The escaping process is are handled by the roots library. Right. Okay. Any question again? Thank you. <laughs> okay. You, you you can ask the letter if you want to share about. Yeah. Any uh, any question again? Wow. I think it's. Yeah. Any question again? Because I haven't shown you about how to persist the model objects to storage. It will take too long, I think. But I will show you how to do it anyway. Let's start. In persistent folders, we have an interface. You may look this. It's very simple persistence. We have set and get method set is for save saving process for the model and get is ret retrieve uh, model we 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 pass id here so if you use uh, sql you just ignore this and use auto increment instead but in this case i will use file persistence so your models will be saved as a file as a file this is the move set. I just need to serialize the object itself and put to contents and use file put contents to save it to file. And for get is the reversal. And I will file get content and we'll get unserialized data. The content should be like this, for example. Oh, there is no. Some kind of like a JSON file, but actually it's not a JSON file. It's serialized. It's a serialized object. Uh, you could unserialize to construct the object again. It's pretty simple for for file persistence. Uh, actually, uh, I want you to modify this to uh, save to my SQL. I, for the time, it's not possible. I think. It looks like just like records. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe if you if you are interested, you could change change this to save your models to uh, MySQL or other databases. This is for uh, simple, sim more simple example. I think very, 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 very simple. But in 
ya the, if you shift to MySQL it will be more complex than this you have to extract the data and save it to database for the get also you have to you have to extract the data from MySQL and create uh, create the article object and return the object yeah it's uh, it's called ORM techniques uh, object relational modeling it can it the it, it, it is the basic of uh, if you use this oh, doctrine or proper Got ORM. It's about the same, I think. Yeah, this is about the same. You 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 saving the object, and if you get, you will get the object, not a plain rows of array. Yeah, it it it, it will be the basic of the ORM. Yeah, I'm in space. I will not cover it there, unfortunately. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Uh, just to save uh, and will be. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Yeah, this is the basic. That's only you have to master it, and you so you could use this technique, this use this library, uh, propel or doctrine uh, with is because you already know the concept of or, of ORM yeah any question before I close this because it's already at the time to finish and last question no uh, if you have confused about this you can uh, directly shout me at Twitter or ask me by ask me I, I will I will stay around uh, for today and tomorrow at conference. You will ask to me and yeah, I will gladly to answer you. Okay. If not, I'm going to let my friend to close my workshop and thank you today for your attention and have a nice day. Great, thank you so much, Russ.